In this episode of Engineering Career TV, I'm going to give you some advice on how you can find a mentor as an engineer. This is a very important aspect of your career that can help you to achieve great success in whatever you do. This topic was brought about from a question received from Ron, who is a young engineer. Ron asks, I'm an electrical engineer with both my BS and MS degrees in engineering. I'm roughly five years into my professional career, and it's been extremely challenging for me to find great engineering mentors to help me develop and take my career to the next level. I've decided to start studying to get my PE license, and having that career coaching and guidance from someone experienced within my specific field is what's absent in my professional journey. What are some good tips for helping me connect with experts within my industry for a potential mentor-mentee relationship? This is an excellent question and an important one for us to answer here on Engineering Career TV because personally, I talk all the time about the importance of finding a mentor. I think at times it can sound easy to do, right? Yeah, obviously, get a mentor. Talk to someone in your field that is successful. Figure out what they are doing and do that, right? I've said that just on a recent episode, but it is not that easy to find and connect with the right people. People are busy today, so how do you do that? Here's a good strategy I will give you for trying to do it. Try to find somebody that might be invested in you in some way, shape, or form. So what I mean by that is, it could be someone that you know through a friend or a family member that might be in the same field as you. If you are lucky enough to have that situation, like an uncle's friend or a father's or mother's friend that is also in the electrical engineering field. They might be interested in connecting with you and helping you. The other thing that you could try and do along the same lines is talk to someone in your professional association, your local chapter, board member, a fellow board member, or a fellow senior member, because again, they're connected with you through the society. They have a relationship with you and are probably interested in seeing you succeed. It's not just a random person. You could even try a person in your company that might be interested in helping you with your career development efforts. Now, the last thing I would recommend, which I think can be really, really powerful and most engineers don't think of, is go back to your school, your college, go back to your alumni association, and more specifically, your engineering alumni association, if you have an engineering alumni association. Look for people in your specific field. So in this case, look for other electrical engineers and reach out to them and ask them for a mentor and explain what you've explained to me. Again, their connection to you is that they're also alumni of your school, and that's a strong connection. Alumni tend to want to help other alumni because you have that college connection. So, try this strategy, which is to find someone that is interested in you, that is interested in your career or your success overall. It will be easier if they have some kind of connection to you. Finding a mentor can change the game for you in your engineering career. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineer Your Own Success. Please subscribe to the show on YouTube or iTunes, and I'll see you next week.